Hey, this is Bill from Cowboy Percussion, and this is the custom Hamilton piccolo snare. This is the instrument that you hear on all the hip-hop tracks in the musical. We made one of these for each of the current Hamilton productions and for the cast recording. This particular drum is on its way to London for the show there, and we want to show you how we made it. Okay, so the material that we'll be using to make these drums is all maple shell stock that we get from Keller. And uh, they come to us in big tubes like this that we cut down to the sizes that we need, and uh, we use those to make the drums. So, this is a 12 inch tube that we're going to cut down to 3 and 3 quarters deep. So we do all that here on the table saw with our shell cutting jig. So now we're going to do layout on this piccolo snare drum shell. In order to do layout, which means figuring out where to put the hardware, we use this, uh, this cool layout mat from Drum Foundry and just combination squares to mark on the shell where we're going to put the hardware. So you can either do this before you've done the, the finished work on the shell or after. Uh, because of the fact that this shell is going to get finished with dye and oil, that means we can do it before, which is way faster and we, I think it's a lot easier. So what we do is we just actually draw right on the shell. Uh, and then once we figure out where all the hardware holes are going to go, we punch them with a punch and then we can sand right over that. The punches remain so we know where to drill and we can do our dyeing and our oiling and do all the finish work on the drum after all the layout's already been done and then just take it right to the drill press and go from there. It's a way faster way to do it if it works with the finishing method that you're going to use. We're using a blend of transitant dark walnut and color tone red mahogany. Transitant and color tone are very similar, if not the same product. Uh, they can be diluted with either water or alcohol. But if I'm going to be applying the dye by hand rather than spraying it, I prefer to use water because it evaporates slower. So we mix that with water and I kind of just mix the colors until I get what I think looks right. And apply with a rag. So because this piccolo snare shell is so shallow, we can't just mount the butt plate directly to the shell or this lever won't clear the hoop. So what we're going to do is, using a piece of quarter inch plywood, make a standoff that just fits inside this gasket that will raise the butt plate up off the shell so we won't have to worry about the hardware colliding. To get a nice crispy sound that still has some body, we use a centered 45 degree bearing edge on this drum. I like to do snare beds by hand. I get the rough shape with 120 grit sandpaper and then I smooth them out with 220 and 320. The shape of the snare bed is a little bit of a trade off because the deeper and wider the bed, the more snare response you get, but the more sympathetic snare bud you have to deal with. So depending on the application of the drum, you shape the snare bed accordingly. While this drum has a normal triple flange hoop on the bottom, we swapped out the batter side hoop for a die cast to give it a little bit more crispness and make sure that the rim shots really pop. All of our drums feature custom laser cut badges, but for the Hamilton drums we wanted to do something special. So we added an additional badge with the Hamilton branding that also shows the city of the production. Alright, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. We're big fans of the show Hamilton and it's awesome to be able to make these drums for them. If you've ever seen the show, tell us how the drums sounded now that you know how we make them. Let us know in the comments below. And uh, we're really excited to ship this drum off to London, and hopefully we'll be able to see the show over there ourselves one of these days. Thanks. See you next time.